Hello again, I'm Matthew from thewetpen.com, and by now you all probably know that I have an affinity for Indian fountain pens. But I'm the first to admit that not all Indian fountain pens are high quality, reliable instruments. My Runga pens are perfect, beautiful and reliable, and so is my Nauka. But for a lot of the mass-produced pens, the only thing that they have going for them is that they're cheap. This airmail pen is a piston filler, but the piston has never worked. This Gamma pen is beautiful, and it has one of the best fine nibs that I own, but it's an eyedropper fill and it tends to make a mess. But last year, I started hearing rumors of an Indian fountain pen brand that was new to me, and that produces pens that are just as well made and reliable as European pens. And that company is Lotus. They're not cheap, unfortunately, but they're not terrible either. So I ordered a pen from them, and this is it. It arrived in this wooden box that says Lotus on the top, with the Lotus logo, and inside, there is a beautiful black brocade pen sleeve, also adorned with Lotus branding. And inside of this sleeve is the pen. This is the Lotus Everest, obviously named after the mountain that is about 100 miles beyond the Indian foothills of the Himalayas. Also inside the box is a polishing cloth, once again with the Lotus logo, which comes in very handy for polishing this clip, which has the Lotus logo laser etched at the top, and a polished steel ring separating the finial from the rest of the cap. And at the bottom of the clip, there are three rings two narrow rings, and a wider one in the center. These are all plain polished steel or chrome with no engravings or markings. The very top of the finial has a circular pearl inlay. I don't know if it's acrylic or mother of pearl or what, but it looks wonderful and it represents the snowy peak of the mountain, I assume. At the opposite end of the pen, there's another steel ring and a rounded end cap making the pen overall a pretty standard cigar shape. But what's most immediately striking about this pen is the gorgeous acrylic. This is a Conway Stewart acrylic called Blue Stardust, and it has a beautifully textured pearlescent blue with just a touch of sparkle in it, enough to be easily noticeable, but not so much as to be gaudy. When the cap is on the pen, the shiny parts of the body and cap and the end caps are never in alignment, so you're always getting something shiny and sparkly somewhere. Now, the cap unscrews in just under one and a half turns, which is about perfect. And here we see the nib is also laser etched with the Lotus logo. Unlike most Indian pens, this Lotus uses a German Yovo nib rather than an Indian Canrite. I personally like Canrite nibs when I get good ones, but Yovos are very reliable, and this one is polished to perfection. Turning this over, you can see that it has a standard Yovo feed, and the nib unit can be quickly and easily unscrewed if you want to replace it with any other Yovo nib unit. The grip section is made of the same acrylic as the rest of the body, and it tapers gently down from the cap threads to a little lip at the end. And there's an almost imperceptible concave shape in the grip in my pen. But if I haven't mentioned, this is a handmade pen, and it's possible that I'm just seeing the results of hand polishing on the section. And if I unscrew the section here, we see the Schmidt cartridge converter inside. Of course, you can also use standard international cartridges, 
but it wouldn't be a good eyedropper fill without some work. It might not be immediately obvious, but the Everest is a fairly large pen. For comparison, here's a Moonman M600 and a Jinhao X159. Here's a Twisby Eco and an Opus 88 Omar. So it's a fairly large pen, but it's nothing like the size of this Ranga Giant 9B or as thick as this Ranga Abhimanyu Grand. Now before I do a quick writing sample, let me remind you that if you like this sort of thing, this is a good time to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my videos in the future. Okay, this is an Indian pen, so I will start with some Indian paper. This is Ayush paper, and the pen is inked with diamine night in Jodhpur. I should mention that the cap of this pen does post, and probably securely enough for writing a few lines, but probably not securely enough for longer writing sessions. The tip of this nib is as perfect as any pen that I own. Silky smooth, with just a hint of feedback to let you know that you're touching the paper. I have a medium nib here, and otherwise it's just like any other good Yovo medium nib. Nothing wrong with it at all. Moderately wet. Without the cap posted, the pen is plenty big enough to be comfortable in my hand, and the grip feels great to me, but it's a large enough pen that I could understand someone with smaller hands finding the grip to be a little large. The Everest model in this particular acrylic costs $192, but it's well worth it, at least if we're comparing to European pens. But it's also available in black ebonite for $30 less. And they have a bunch of other really nice pens too, in all sorts of finishes, including some hand-painted ones. And that's it! If I forgot to cover something about this pen that interests you, let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you back here next time with another new video about pens and ink. Take care, everyone.